Good afternoon, my name is Mr. Capers. Welcome to Maths at the Hurling Academy. Maths at the Hurling Academy is a subject that students find inspiring. It's a subject that they enjoy. They don't have a stigma around maths as a subject, and that's because they're good at it. Uh, our students are good at maths. They have achieved significantly above national average in the last four years at GCSE. And I think there's two reasons behind that. One, our high quality teaching and rigorous planning. We don't just teach something and move on. We make sure that students revisit it, they come back to it, and that builds their long-term memory. It builds their confidence in maths as a subject. But we also believe in teaching maths positively, creating a climate for learning where students can make mistakes, they can ask questions. And all of that has led to students viewing maths here as a positive subject and one that they can be successful in. In terms of our curriculum, we start off basic, we ensure that all students have the basic numeracy that they need to survive in the real world and that they have those basic skills so that they can get the GCSE pass mark that they need to do whatever they want to do at the next stage of their life. But we also believe strongly in building problem solving. We've got to make sure that our students are creative, analytical thinkers who can be successful in whatever profession they go on into. And even more importantly, that they want to go on to A-level. And we have many students after they leave us at GCSE who go on to A-level. We're now going to pop into a class here being taught by Miss Robinson, uh, 9 set 2. Okay guys, so as a quick recap first of all of what we were looking at last lesson, I want us to think about our fifth and our sixth rule. We're going to come on to combining those together in about 10 minutes time, but a quick revision first of all, looking at our fifth rule. If we've got 3 to the power of minus 1, we're looking to do the reciprocal of that number. Now remember that 3 is the same as being 3 over 1, reciprocal being where I'm flipping the number on its head. And I'm going to become 1 over 3. When I've got a fraction, you're doing the exact same thing, of 3 over 8 to the power of minus 1. And I'm looking to do the reciprocal, I flip the number, and it just becomes 8 over 3. Fantastic. On your mini whiteboards, I'd like to see you doing this one. 20 to the power of minus 1. Write in your question and your answer, please. Show me your boards in 3, 2, and 1 in front of your chest. Fantastic year nine. Really, really brilliant. Josh, would you mind if I borrowed your board though? I really, really like this one because we've shown that 20 was 20 over one. So when we do the reciprocal, I'm showing that I'm flipping the number to become one over 20. Really like that one, thank you. My name is Misha, I'm in year 10. Um, I'm expecting to get a grade 9 in my GCSEs and I enjoy maths because it gives very logical answers, it has a fixed process and the teachers here are really supportive in making sure we get the grades that we want. Okay, great. Thank you. Anastasia? My name is Anastasia. I'm in set one, I'm in year 10 and I'm aiming for a grade 9 in my GCSEs. I really like maths particularly here because it's a very interactive lesson with lots of whiteboard sessions and different ways that the teachers can help you with your learning. 